Hello you beautiful people and welcome back. As promised in the last video, this here is the actually how do we mod this game. Well, we're, there's several ways you can mod this game. You can do it by adding new furniture such as shelves, uh, cash registers, characters, and all that. But what we're going to focus on today in this video is we are going to work on changes some textures around now if you remember in the last video that right there had coca-cola plastered all over the side of it and all that stuff well i removed all the mods from my game well those textures and stuff like that so i can show you lovely awesome beautiful people how to bring that in yourself uh, look around my slim gems are no longer slim gems that's the salt uh, my fruit loops are no longer uh, fruit loops that's the powdered sugar yep uh, so yeah I've removed the mods and all that stuff so I could show y'all how to bring the mods in well bring the mod in and the textures that I've been creating so let's go ahead and exit out quit to desktop there are a few things that you are going to need uh, this is my uh, game folder um, this is yours will be set up very similar to this wherever you have steam installed uh steam library steam apps common supermarket if you don't know how to find it like this you can always open up your steam okay and you can go down to your supermarket simulator game right here and just right click and then go to managed uh, the manage tab and it opens up this little window and just come over here and left click on browse local files you see it because i already had the folder open it it brought my folder open now yours will not look like this okay for 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 the most part will not look like this and i'm fixing to show you why going over here let's go over here to Nexus Mods. Uh, as of right now, this is the only uh, place that has official mods for this game. If you find a mod anywhere else other than the mods that I share in my Discord or on Nexus Mods or any of these beautiful, awesome mod creators' as Discords, those mods are fake. Stay away from them. Uh, also, a very important note, there are, I counted five different copies of this game outside of steam very 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 important folks those games if they are not on steam they are pirated fake games that have that are illegal the only legal legitimate copy of this game is in fact on steam okay this is where you will find the original legal copy. Anything else is pirated, illegal. So if you can report it, this game is not in the Google Apps Store. Well, there is a version of it. It is a pirated game. The game is not in the Google Store or the Apple Store or the PlayStation 5 or any other website and if you have gotten that game from any of those following places other than the steam game store uninstall them delete them run your virus protection and stuff like that i actually for science so i could be able to give you all this big huge warning actually ran those games on what's called a virtual machine they are filled with malice software a malicious software that robs your data off your computer stay away from those games huge warning this is the correct game right here on the steam workshop right here uh supermarket simulator this is the only legal copy of the game that does not have all that stuff and it's by nakota games um uh, which you know it's these fine folks right here it's only one developer uh so just to put that out there stay away from them other games guys they're, they're bad for you they steal your data and all that stuff all right continuing back on here all right so you're going to need um uh, if we're just going to focus on the texture 
replacer mod. So let's go and we're going to find that, uh, which we're going to explore all mods tabs right here. All right, let's see. Um, that's a good mod to have right there. Uh, but we're looking for the texture mod, okay? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Now, there's no official mod support in the game's Discord, which I will have my Discord linked in the descriptions underneath this video. I will have this website's link in that same description as well as the games discord the original legitimate games discord uh, obviously you can see I've downloaded a few mods and stuff like that that's why my directory looks a little different than yours because you will not have that I even have that mod that's a beautiful mod uh, my fiance loves that mod because I was able to scale the uh, IDs up to where she can see it better uh, that's that's not the mod that I'm referring to uh, even though it's got textures in the name. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. About the most difficult. Ah, here we go. Right here. Texture replacer. Okay. Oh. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, sometimes that might have uh, a thing you come up like that. Just close it out. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to need this mod. Okay. Uh, you have... A simple texture meshes and products replacer. Okay. Install, download Melon Loader and put the mod into Steam, Steam Apps, Common Supermarket, Simulator, Vapian X plugins. Download the packs to create your own uh, object meshes. Go in object meshes. The PNG files goes in your object textures. The icons go into texture replacer icons. Uh, product brands go into the name product names, which I'm going to go over all of these steps with you in this video. Uh, texture replacer templates. The mod will ignore the templates folder. Okay. There's a video link right there, uh, which I will put that in the uh, descriptions below the video also there's a quick uh, link right here for the asset studio which in order to extract the textures from the game file to be able to do all this stuff you will need the asset studio which here's a link right here which I'll have that in the description of this video as well uh, for y'all to click on it. I'm going to go over all of that for y'all in this video. Uh, and here's uh, some instructions right here. Do you want to change the brand name, blah, 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 icon, so forth, and all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go over all of that stuff with you. Uh, I've watched this video. This is how I know how to do all this stuff with y'all. Um, the purpose of this uh, video is... Um, Hmm, that's, I didn't see that link last time. Okay, but I, um, I this is how I learned is I watched this video right here, which, uh, do, 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 right there. Uh, it's this video right here. This is how I learned how to uh, do all this stuff with y'all and so forth. And that's why I'm doing this video to help y'all out because there's been a lot of questions. How do you do this? How do you do that? And I'm going to teach y'all. Uh, but yeah, just read through all this very, very, very carefully because the author of this mod has done a phenomenal job, a beautiful job of giving instructions on this. But sometimes people have to watch and learn by seeing. Uh, so yeah, this is how this all goes. Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, but, 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 but where's it at? Up oh, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and look at the file and I'm going to look at the date of the file, the date uploaded, which was today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. Okay. All right, now I'm going to, uh, while that's downloading, I'm going to go to. Uh, 
Uh, let me, uh, I think this is it. Let me uh, run to this file right here real quick. Uh, I'm going to manually download that one also. All right, now I'm going to go here to my uh, downloads. I'm going to, well, come on, come on. There you go. All right. Yep, that's it. All right, now you will need this mod right here. Okay. This mod is the Toby's Weapon Be X. X melon loader pack for supermarket simulator. You will need that, so I'm gonna leave that open as well. Uh, now that I've got those two mods, what we want to do is we want to select all these files and just drag them over into the Steam folder, and then your folder should look a lot more like mine, okay. I'm going to select the files that uh, uh, so these files are the original game files and these files should be the files that you have in your folder but when you drag these files over into your uh, Steam Supermarket Simulator folder, then your 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 folder should look a lot like mine. Okay, now let's go up to the next uh, save edit, uh, the next mod that we downloaded, which will be the texture replacer. Okay, now watch how I done that, guys. I just because Seven Zip is is one of, if not the best zip programs that you can use. Uh, go ahead and uh, open up this. Uh, zip file the texture replacer mod and it should look just like this do not go into this folder right here okay don't don't do that we're not ready for that just yet okay now let's go back over here to our steam directory we're going to go over here to the bepin x folder we're going to double click it to open it then we're going to look for a folder called plugins then we're going to Double click that folder to open that plugin. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this folder, the whole folder, folks, over into the plugins. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to replace all of my files. Okay. So now your best in, or be a pin, however it's, I, I may be chewing it up, it may be bopping, I don't, I don't know. But anyhow, the be a pin X folder plugins, your folder should look somewhat like this with the texture replacer folder in there. These are other mods that I have installed, guys. So you won't have all of these DLL files and stuff like that, okay? The only important folder that you need is the texture replacer. All right, so we're going to open that folder up, okay? And your folder, the whole folder that we just drug over from the zip file, it should look like this, okay? You should have a templates, meshes, textures, icons, names, and a texture replacer DLL file, okay? Now, let's just kind of go through these folders right here real quick. We're going to start at the bottom. Uh, we're going to open up the product names. That is how the game reads the products in game. So, for example, if you want to change the product that you're working on, you want to rename it. Uh, like the brand is Fess, and then the product name is Beer Blonde L Six Pack. Okay. We just opened these two folders right here. Uh, guys, use Notepad++ instead of just Notepad. 
Uh, I can have a link for that in the descriptions also. Uh, that is the best program you can use for these. All right, but anyhow, now we're going to go back into our text to replace a folder. We're going to go to the icons. Okay. I have replaced all of these icons because I exported them all out of the uh, game. Okay. Uh, it, it was a process, and I exported all these out of the game just to, uh, let's see, uh, just to realize that, so that's where your icon files are go. Uh, just to realize that the uh, vanilla icons, they're actually over here. I didn't have to spend all that time extracting them. So you basically, you can go into your uh, templates folder, go into vanilla, and then go into the icons, control A to select all of them, control C to copy all of them. Then just back back up here and go over here to the product icons folder, and then press control V to paste them all in there. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I skipped them because I already done that. That's why there's icons in this folder, in my folder, and there's not none in your folder. Okay. <coughs> so I learned the hard way. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I think somebody's burning something, uh, across the uh, street over there because I've got my windows open to let the nice cool breeze in and it's choking me up now. So I apologize for that. All right. Now, here's where your object textures files goes in, the PNG files that you export or whatever. All right. That folder's empty. Okay. Now, Chief, how do you get those files? Well, I'm going to show you. First, you come over here. And you go to this beautiful ultimate tutorial guide right here from this lovely author right here. And then in his, the descriptions of his um, video, I'll get it here in just a second. There's a link to the, a program called Asset Studio GUI. And then when you click on that link, it'll bring you over here to this bad boy right here. Okay, and then you just download it, and you're good to go. Uh, it'll come in, I think, a zip folder. And what I did is I, uh, let me get that back out of this real quick. Uh, I installed it right here. Asset, I just drug it over into this folder right here. And then find this file right here, and then you open the file, open the program. Let me go ahead and get back out of this and go back over to my uh, uh, Steam library. Real quick. And get everything set up. All right, supermarket. All right. Be up in X, and then plugins, and then... Uh, texture replacer and then I just want to go right here to the textures and I just want to open that folder up right there okay now in this program right here it works for me perfectly right out of the box because I am a modder and I have been modding and dealing with graphics .NET C++ uh, all those things, DirectX, uh, all those things. So I've got all of those professional software things installed on my computer, so everything's up to date and all that. If it doesn't work correctly for you, um, if you join my Discord, I can uh, share the uh, links that you have or the files for the textures that you have. I've already shared the, the Coke machine, uh, the Twinkies, the Fruit Loops, the Beef Jerky, the Folgers Coffee. Um, it's, it's easy to do. Or I can export them for you. Just let me know. All right. <clears throat> so getting back to our Asset Studio GUI, we want to go over here to File. 
left click on file and then we want to load file and it's very 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 important guys you want to navigate back to your steam uh supermarket simulator folder and then you want to find the supermarket simulator data folder double click that folder and then you're going to look through these files and it starts with the S so it'll be down here toward the bottoms and it's very very important that you select the shared assets zero dot assets file not the shared assets zero dot assets dot res s file but make sure that you select the shared assets zero dot assets file and then once you have that selected and highlighted just click open okay now you'll see a little progress bar if you've done that correctly right here it's green now that's going to take a minute to that's my video that i'm working on for y'all where's there it is so yeah that's you know the video i'm working on y'all so i'm doing all that stuff all in the background while doing this making another video <laughs> that's crazy right but depending on your computer depends on how long it's going to take to read that file and we don't want to do anything on our computer until this green progress bar goes all the way over here so but um I will jump into the Discord's screenshot uh, while that's doing that, and I will show y'all some of the uh, things that I brought into the game, as well as other people's beautiful work. Uh, I'm just going to kind of skim up here because I'm only interested in showing y'all my stuff. Yes, that's a mod that allows you to do that. Uh, it's a good mod to have. Uh, scrolling up, yes, that's another mod, uh, expanded storage mod, and then clone, uh, stalkers mod. <laughs> yeah, there's clones, they made it from the Clone Wars to the supermarket store, anyhow. Some of y'all won't get that reference, but, uh, all right, let's go on up here. Uh, here's the, uh, Coke machine that I put into the game, uh, via the texture placer mod. Uh, let's see, let's go on up some more. Uh, here's the freezers that I put into the game because you know all these freezers have uh, things on them like stickers of ice cream or whatever and all that stuff. Uh, somebody else is uh, looking at another mod that they've done some catalogs of Cocoa Pops. I've never heard of that cereal, but that might be from UK or something like that. Uh... Let's see here. Uh, bu, 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 bu. A lot of people's posting screenshots. I know it's awesome. Uh, ah, here we go. Uh, here's another screenshot of my store in game with a mod called Place Objects Anywhere or uh, No Objects Restriction. It's it's on Nexus mods, uh, but it allows you to place uh object anywhere and I just kind of dress it up because it's just too dark out here on the front porch so I stuck lights up on the wall right there up under the windowsill right there above the stock room door and then above the uh thing right there uh the store sign and all that stuff uh G and V's uh grocery store that's mine and my fiance's um uh well, that's actually our business name, but we just don't have a grocery store, but it's uh, Field Service Solutions is our business name. But the lights, you can actually stick the lights together like this with the Place Anywhere uh, mod also, which kind of gives you a little bit of a different light style and stuff like that. Uh, see, I was showcasing the uh, lights and stuff like that. Um, that is a mod, too. It allows you to change the color of the walls, the floors and things of that nature the shelves and stuff as well uh obviously people other people has found the <laughs> uh somebody found a uh magazine uh fiance because uh they uh well yeah um i guess it's not gonna come up is it not gonna come up okay well 
Anywho, moving on along, uh, there's the Folgers coffee, the bad coffee, and I have seen uh, Folgers coffee like this in the grocery stores. Uh, so I put that in the uh, thing, and this is the icon that I was telling you all about right here, guys. That's the icon. Uh, this reference to the icon file. And remember, I opened up those two files. One was the name, and the other was the uh, brand, Folgers Coffee. Uh, so that's what those files are referenced to. <clears throat> uh, this is my store right here, uh, which you notice my Fruit Loops are over here. Uh, the salt, I made the salt into like a little canister of Slim Jims. Uh, see, there's my Fruit Loops. <laughs> so you know this is uh just some of the things that you can do with the uh mod and stuff like that um do 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 scrolling on up but anyhow y'all y'all get the idea so let's get into extracting these uh let's get that out of the way all right so whenever that green line's over here then your um asset studio should look like this Okay, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to do two things. We're going to find the tab right here that says Asset List. We're going to left click that. Then it's going to change. You're going to see all this stuff. Don't let all this stuff intimidate you guys. It, you know, it's, just, it's, it's scary, but it's not scary. All right, <clears throat> then we're going to go over here to the Filter Type. Okay, we're going to left click on that. Yours may not have this big long list of things. Mine does uh, because me being a modern and stuff like that. But you want to scroll down this list right here and you want to find where it says Texture 2D. You want to left click on that. What that does is that goes through these files right here. Yeah, that 133,902 files. <laughs> yeah All right. you want to go through that and then find all your texture 2D's that's the key right there guys All right. now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and we're going to highlight the name box we're going to left click on that one time what that's going to do is that's going to put that in uh uh alphabetical order okay and once we get that then we can go through here and we're looking for files that have a specific thing on them we're going to take for example alcohol okay well and then we're going to, uh, this file right here if you look it's got the alcohol all right now look right here guys um uh, alcohol a underscore a okay and then you have the same name with an m and then you have another one with an n the only files that we are going to be interested in is the ones that are ending with a okay now what we're going to do for this tutorial purpose is we're going to go through and we're going to find the serial because that um is one of the game the the uh, products that you start out with in the base game okay so we're going to go through here and we're going to find some cereal okay we're going to scroll down we're going to scroll down we got cake uh here's your cake if you want to make a box of twinkies um let's see here uh that's actually an, an icon guys uh that's not the file you would need so you've got that one right there. And of course, Scam's going to call me while I'm trying to make a video. They do almost every time. Uh, and again, I get back to the uh, video. And then you got Cake O. And then you got Cake Variation right here. And then right here. Okay, these, they don't have an A in the file. But mainly if you look for the textures that look like they're flat like this that's the textures that we're looking for so you actually have two different cakes right here that are in game you got a uh, cake bond 
Papa. Okay, that's the uh, icon that you see when you buy the store item and stuff like that. And then, of course, you got that cake, those cakes, that cake, that cake. That's what I used to make the Twinkies for my fiance. <laughs> she loves Twinkies and Coke and all that stuff, guys. Uh, but we're looking for a cereal. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cereal, 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 cereal. Does anybody remember how to spell cereal? Found it. All right, right here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, thumb through here. That's the cereal you start the game with. That's another cereal that you unlock in the license, as well as that cereal you unlock in the license. So that's uh, a cereal that you unlock in the license. Then you got this cereal, this cereal, but we're interested in this cereal, okay? So we're going to select that cereal. Then we're going to go down here to the uh, sugar, okay? And I'll show you here in just a second why I'm doing that. Okay, sugar, 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 sugar. And, and being since it's in alphabetical order, uh, it's going to uh, be down toward the bottom in the S. All right. A, B, C, D, E, Q, R, S. All right, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Hey, hey, sugar. Uh, let's see, where you at? O, R, ah, sugar. Ah, right. now, what I'm going to do before I select anything, I'm going to hold my left control button down. And I'm going to select the sugar. All right, that's not the correct one. So I'm going to, while still holding the control button down, I'm going to left click that again. Then I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, that's not the correct one either. You have to get that with the license. So I'm going to, while still holding the left control button down, I'm going to go ahead and left click that again. And then I'm going to go to the other one. That's the one that I want right there. Okay. Now, with that being said, what I'm going to do as I'm going to now, once I get those two selected, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to export assets or selected assets. Okay. Then I want to go to my simulator folder. I want to go to my best bin. I want to go to my plugins and then I want to go to my texture replacer and just highlight that folder. And I'll show you why here in just a second, guys. All right. Then I'm going to select that folder. Then it's going to export them. Then it's going to open up the same folder that we've been having open up right here, uh, the texture replacer folder. But if you notice, there's something different. There's another folder called texture 2D. We're going to double click on that folder. Okay. And then over here, we're going to go to our objects textures folder within the texture replacer folder, object textures folder. Then we're just going to grab these bad boys and we're just going to drag them over here. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and close that window. Okay. Now, I have a program called GIMP. GIMP is a free program, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, free program, okay? Now, let's go ahead and double click on those files, okay? And open those up in GIMP, okay? Uh, GIMP, you can download that off the internet, uh, G-I-M-P, Google search it, and you can download it, okay? Now, I'm just kind of maximizing the window. All right, you have those two files that we just extracted. That's what they look like. They look kind of wonky and crazy and silly and stupid, okay, guys? That is perfectly normal. That's what they're supposed to look like, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is in our GIMP program, we're going to go over here to this little icon right here that says Rectangle Select Tool. We're just going to left-click that, okay? 
that way if we accidentally left click on the um uh file or the, the the picture it won't really do anything all right now let's go to google uh, all right let's search for uh a serial box pictures okay easy look at that oh my gosh it's crazy look at that look at that um, I think uh, my fiance wants uh, some uh, frosted flakes, so we're gonna give her frosted flakes. They're they're great. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up this picture right here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just print screen. Okay. And then we're going to go back over to our GIMP program. We're going to create a uh, new file. Okay. And we want to make the file uh, 1024 by 1024. And then it opened it up like this. And then we're going to hold Control v to paste that file in there all right now your file will look like this okay uh, that was me holding the miss middle mouse button down all right so what we're going to do is then we're going to hold the left button down and we're going to center these files up like this and we're going to line the bottom of the serial boxes up, up to the uh beginning of that file then we're going to come over here and we're going to left click off the screen. Then we're going to hold the shift S key to scale the picture. Okay. There we go. And we want to stretch this picture to our new file. Okay. Something like that. It ain't got to be perfect, guys. Uh, it's, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Okay. And then scale it. And then we're going to go ahead and click our little box right here again. Okay. And then if you press the plus N key on your numpad, you can zoom in the uh, box, uh, the picture like that. What we're going to do is we're just going to select an area. Okay, of the serial box. Okay, now if we zoom in again, we can get really close to it. We don't want to get the exact edge. Uh, but we want to get that right there. And then we want to go ahead and bring that up to set about right there. Okay. And that looks, let's go ahead and hit the minus key to zoom back out. And I think that looks pretty good, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to left control copy. Then we're going to go over here to our other serial. And then we're going to left control V. Okay. Now with this right here selected, then we can move this over here just like so okay now let's go ahead and hit the uh, plus key on our numpad and zoom in because this is very important uh what we're going to do is now we're going to hold shift s to bring up our scale and then we're going to take this corner right here and we're going to bring that corner right up here uh, we might have to zoom in some more so we can get almost perfect on it, guys. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to hold our middle. We're going to come over here. We're going to move our cursor over here. We're going to hold our middle mouse button down. It's going to bring up the little cross arrows. 
and we're just going to drag the uh, picture from our right to our left because we're going for the other corner. Okay, we're going to left click on this corner and we're going to drag that. And we're going to middle mouse button, drag that, middle mouse button, drag to right here. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and zoom back out. Okay. And then we're going to take this, we're going to drag that down. Okay. And it's going to look just like that, okay, guys? Now, what we want to do, very important, we want to left click the scale button. Then move our mouse cursor over here, left click the selection button thingy right here. And then we want to left click anywhere. Oh, it didn't. Uh, there we go. And then what it's going to do is it's going to drop that image down. Okay. Now, what we're going to do then is very easy. We are going to right click and we're going to highlight file and we're going to move over to this window then we're going to overwrite serial we're going to left click on that okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and open up the game and show you what it looks like okay that's why we put the file in that folder okay all right now i'm just going to go into my store because I already have that on the shelf. I'm going to, uh, that's a mod that closes the doors, guys. So, no worries there. All right. Then I'm going to go over here. And as you can see, we got the face of it on the box. But we didn't do anything to change the size of the box or nothing like that. See, we got Frosted Flakes on the shelf. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. You'll, you'll want to do, I'm going to go ahead and go back to desktop. You'll want to do that with this right here as well with a, another another project. Uh, could be Kellogg's Pops or whatever, okay? Now, <clears throat> here's where things kind of get a little tricky. Now we're going to go back to our mod folder. We're going to go back to our texture replacer folder. We're going to go for our icons right here. Okay, now we're going to turn our view up to where they're extra large. We're going to expand our window so we can see multiple ones at once. Okay, now we want to go here and we want to look for our serial button right here. Then we want to go ahead and right click, open it, and we want to open that in um, GIMP. And then we want to copy paste now here's where the fun part begins guys we want to right click we want to go down here to tools we want to go to our transform tools then we want to go down here to I think perspective okay then we want to drag this corner up here just like this okay We'll have to zoom in to where we can see it. Make good, a nice, good, solid. Um, it don't have to be exactly perfect, um, but somewhere in that, close to that general area on that corner. Then we want to go over here to this corner. Okay. We'll zoom in to this one. And then we'll just bring that corner to where it kind of looks like it's the... Um, top corner of the box okay zoom back out and then we want to go to this corner down here uh, and then we want to go ahead and do the same thing with that corner right there okay then we want to go to this corner and you might have to zoom out a little bit to do that as well okay and then we're just going to drag that 
over here to this corner. Something like that, okay? Then we want to left click on Terraform, okay? And then we want to go back over here and we want to click on that little box right there. Okay, and then we just we can just left click anywhere on the screen at that time. Okay, so now we have our and you'll do this with the sides too as well. Uh, so now we have our our side of the box icon. So now what we go doing after this step is we go in here, right click, file, overwrite. Pay attention to the number in the icon file. Overwrite thirty three underscore icon remember guys that is very important to remember that number okay go ahead and override it and if you forget that number and you still have your gimp up here if you look over here it'll tell you what file you have open 33 underscore icon okay now what we want to do is we want to go back to our mod folder right here if you look now the picture's changed we want to back up one folder and we want to go to our product names right here. Okay, and if you're like me, you still have that pulled up, you happen to forget, then remember 33. So now we want to look for the number 33 right here. Okay, guys? We got two files. So we're going to hold control, left click on brand, and then name. Okay, and we're going to right click and we're going to open them in notepad plus plus okay and the files will look like this so now we'll go back to our gimp in case you forgot the brand is cow logs the name is frosted flakes okay so now we're going to go over here to the brand and we're going to change that well let's move this out of the way so we can see the the brands cow logs we're going to backspace and we're going to put cow logs Okay, we're going to hold Control F to save, uh, or you can just left click right here to save it. And then the name is Frosted Flakes. Okay, and go ahead and save, save that file also. Okay. And then we are going to minimize this, minimize that, uh, minimize that. I can go ahead and close that up. We don't need that. Uh, notice that's still open because I'm not finished showing y'all yet. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and start the game. Supermarket. And I will show you what we just done at this step of the project. Go ahead and load game. Go ahead and open my door and jump over the counter. And if we look at the computer, now we have Frosted Flakes. That's the icon right there. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. That's what we just done by those other steps. Okay? So that's what we done right there. And if you look right here, the icon on the shelf in the computer. So that folks helps you get started on how to do that now we're going to go ahead and exit the game and then I'm going to show you uh, let me move some stuff around real quick like ah here we go texture market simulator uh, I'm going to turn on view so I can see the actual pictures. Uh, <laughs> ah, here we go. All right, those are textures. That's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. 
Well, I, I've got a backup of them somewhere. I just don't remember what I put them. Nope, that's not it. Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Nope, it's not that one. I bet it's going to be this one. Aha. Yep. It is going to be this one. Yep, yep. All right. Let's see. Uh, give me just one second, guys. Um, No, it ain't those. I made a backup of, of, of all of my textures and all that stuff. Apparently, that's not the part of it. But anyhow. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and get back to what we was doing. That's it right there. <laughs> Silly. Um... I don't think they're in alphabetical order. Yeah, no, I do not think they're in alphabetical order. Ah, right, well, that ain't the folder either. Uh, but anyhow, let's go ahead and open this folder back up. And now we're going to look for our freezer or our fridge uh, mod or our fridge file. Now this is going to be a little little tricky, guys, because you really got to be creative on finding this. Um, come on, there we go. Uh, let's see, frozen pack. Nope, nope, nope. We're looking for freezer or fridge. Ah, uh, uh, we got fridge. Fridge A, Fridge B, we got this fridge, and then we got this fridge, uh, let's see here, All right, now we're going to extract both of those into, we're going to Uh, go back to plugins, then we're going to just go ahead and extract that right there. Okay, and then remember it puts it in the 2D uh, the texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag those over into our other folder right here. All right. And this fridge, I think, is the big fridge. Fridge F13 by X. Uh, anyhow. Uh, we can go ahead and close that folder out because we don't need that now. Uh, go ahead and open up our other folder. All right, and then this fridge. Okay, now, how you can do this is you can take just a, a, a placeholder. Uh, 
for example, um, this right here. Just select something, anything. Control, copy. Go over here to this one. Control, paste. Okay? And just stick it anywhere on this texture right here. We're going to stick it right there. All right? And then Control, H. And then we're going to right click. And then overwrite the fridge file that we just extracted. Same process as you've done with the other icon and the uh, other cake. Then we're going to go ahead, go back into the game. And yes, you have to go back into the game because unless you upload it in Blender, you're not going to know which section is which. Okay, so this is one way around it if you don't know how to operate uh, 3D graphics programs. All right, now what I like to do is I like to take and look. See, all right, that is the, let's move this fridge out of the way. That is, if you're looking at the fridge, that is the right side of the fridge. Okay. This is the left side of the fridge. Okay. So I like to look, and you can actually screenshot this uh, and just come over here to uh, GIMP. And just, uh, yeah, actually, you can just create a new file. Uh, 20 by 48 will be fine. And then just paste that screenshot in there. That way you can look at this and you say, okay, that is the right side of the fridge. So the texture is upside down and we're just left. Uh, well, we would actually be left. Uh, if you look up at it upside down, would be right of his face. Okay, so we want to look at the texture. So that would be this section right here would be the um, right side of the refrigerator. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to get creative with it, guys. We're going to control Z to undo. And what that does is that frees back our texture, okay? Oh, we're going to get excited with this, guys. And what we're going to do is, because I've already done this already. Uh, see, you can tell where I've done it already. Okay, but we're going to get excited here. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna Bob Ross the shit out of this, okay? Um, we are going to... Actually, first of all, let's go ahead and uh, take that out of there. And let's go back to our texture. We're going to re-grab the texture. Okay. Um, we're going to select it. And we're going to move some stuff around. We're going, we're going to get excited with this, guys. Okay. We're going to get real excited. This is going to be cool as shit. Watch this. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, do that. Get that whole border right there. Get that, cause they're great. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go. And make sure we got the bottom. Uh, well, we're not gonna get the whole bottom. We're gonna cut off the uh, that. All right, we're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to go back over here to our file. And if you look, there's a little discoloration right there, okay? So if we're going to make everything match that discoloration right right there, well, just the side of that uh, black line right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and control V. And we're going to paste that in there. And then we're going to move that over here. And then we're going to zoom in, and we're going to perfectly line that up with, zoom in some more. Perfect. All right, now we're going to zoom out, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shift S to scale it. Uh, come on, shift S to scale. There we go. It had a hiccup, guys. And then we're going to stretch that up to roughly, 
right to the bottom of that right there okay and then we're going to zoom out we're going to grab our other scale okay beautiful then we're going to scale it okay then we're going to control v to copy oh control z to undo that and then we're going to control c to copy it and then we're going to control v to paste it then we're going to get our little uh tool over here we're going to make sure that we select that tool we're going to drag the copy over there. All right? And then we're going to run over here. And if you noticed, this picture is upside down. So that's easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to control, control, or not control, but shift R to rotate it. We're going to come over here and we're going to put in minus 90. I'm sorry, minus 180. I'm sorry, don't listen to me. It's minus 180. And that's going to turn that upside down. Okay, and then we're going to rotate it. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to select our little box again. It has a shortcut key. I just don't remember what it is. Okay. And we're going to just move that over here. Okay. We're going to zoom back in. And all we got to do, guys, is just basically line that back up with this right here. Uh, yep, there it is right there. Okay, guys. Make sure that we're just lined up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then just move that up right there. All right, and then we're going to control V to paste again. Okay, see how that's uh done now? Now, let's go ahead and... uh move this picture in there and we're going to line this with that edge right there but we're also going to make it line up with uh this left side over here as well okay All right, then once we do that, just control H and it's going to anchor it down to the picture. Then we're going to right click, file, overwrite existing fridge. Okay. Now, if you remember, if you remember, I didn't exit out of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save my game and then I'm going to quit the desktop. Okay. And then I'm going to reload the game. The reason I say this is so the uh, freezer was outside uh, in the walkway. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to go ahead and load my game. There you go, guys, right there. Now you got frosted flakes on your coolers. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now, unfortunately, uh, I have not found out how to make the textures work for the registers just yet. But the freezers, same same process. You got to find that one texture. Uh, if you are having trouble with your own textures, join my Discord, and I will help you with the textures. I will port them out, give them to you. Uh, if you need help making them. Just get with me in my Discord, and we'll jump in a voice channel, and I'll screen share with you, and we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this tutorial here, and I'll catch you in the next episode. And as always, happy gaming, and we'll catch you next time.